Hi, so I'm going to be replacing this light switch or actually fan light switch with this Lutron Diva CL dimmer. And, uh, you know, I'm going to give you some tips along the way. So I'm going to tell you right off the bat that the dimmer is going to be an on switch like this. So you're going to have to push it. So what I'm going to do is actually reverse it because I actually like my off being, you know, like this position versus the off being this position, which is actually the default and there's nothing you could really do about it. You can't switch the wires and actually think it's gonna work because it's just an on off switch that either is connected or disconnected. So I'm just gonna flip it over. So I've unscrewed this light switch and you'll notice in these old wiring, it's very hard to tell what's the hot wire and what's the wire that goes to the light source. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a multimeter and test it out. Now, obviously I do not have the a circuit breaker off because I have to test which one's the hot wire. So, uh, you know, you have to be extra careful. So I'm going to take my multimedia and I'm going to turn it to AC, which is that right there with the swiggly. And now I'm going to take the ground wire, stick it into any metal piece, and I'm going to take this terminal and I am going to carefully unscrew this particular wire here. And now I am going to touch it and see. So this is 122 volts. So I know right away that this is already the hot wire. So now I've turned off the circuit breaker and I have some wire cutters and I'm just going to cut up the wires from the original just to have space to work with. Now you, you might not have to do this. You, you might simply just try to, um, you know, untwist the wires yourself with, without this wire cutter. So in single pole mode where one light switch controls one light source, um, you don't need this red and white, white wire. So what I've done is I capped it off. I did not use one of those plastic caps here because uh, you know these things can you know, get very cramped. So I don't want that extra cap to add to the space that I have in jamming this in. Um, so these two other wires are going to be your hot wire and your line wire. It doesn't matter which way you orient this. It'll, it'll work the same way. It doesn't even affect how this button is going to be oriented when it's on and off. If you really want it to orient in a particular way, you actually have to physically reverse the switch. So I've, I've confirmed that. Uh, I, I knew from the start that it doesn't matter because these things are either contacted or not contacted. So in single pole mode, uh, you know, whether you put the hot this wire or the hot that wire, it doesn't really matter. Um, once again, it doesn't affect the orientation. The default orientation is that the light switch is going to be like this with the Lutron inscription at the bottom. And in the off position, it's going to be like that. So to turn on the light, you have to push like that and that will be the on position which um, I know for me is actually the reverse of how I want it. So despite the Lutron inscription here gonna be upside down, I'm gonna reverse it so that when the light's on, it's gonna be like this, and when the light's off, this is gonna stick out. So, um, you know, just keep that in mind if you are, you know, orienting this a certain way and you're picky like that. Now I'm just gonna wire this up. Uh, you know, the green is obviously ground. Uh, and these two wires, the red and black, it doesn't matter. And for the red and white, I'm simply, you know, going to cap it off and, you know, stick it in. That's unused. That's for the three-way scenario. Okay, so I now capped off the wires. I connected them. And I did put electrical tape on this for two reasons. One is to protect from the electricity. But also the other reason is to tie these a little bit more secure together so that when I'm jamming it in, it doesn't move as much and the connection holds, uh, especially when it gets very cramped. You, you could see you know, how cramped it's gonna be when I'm trying to stuff something like that in there. So, um, you know, let's see. So I've jammed this thing in here. Now space is at an absolute premium in, in this thing. You have no idea. Now, uh, you, you'll see here there's fins. And the fins uh, can actually be removed if, if you have a situation where you have to put uh, these side by side and it doesn't fit. Uh, the reason why the fins are there is somehow it controls the uh, voltage rating. 
so uh, or the wattage rating so every time you remove one of these tabs it uh, lessens the amount of watts that this thing supports as far as the dimming capacity so uh, just keep that in mind uh, check out my video on how to install one of these side by side with each other uh, where I have actually do have to remove the tabs um, so uh, let me put on the cap and uh, let's see how it looks alright so this is the finished product what I really want to emphasize is that this top here sticking out is the off position and while I push that this here at the bottom is the on position so so the only way around that is to actually physically turn this upside down uh, switching the wires will not help so I really wanted to emphasize that uh, but that would also switch the position of the dimmer to the left and also have the uh, you know brightness and uh, minimum brightness upside down also and also the lettering upside down so just keep that in mind if you really want to switch it and that's a pet peeve of yours uh, I will have all of the links in the description area of the video and I hope this helps and the please subscribe and thank you for watching